Apple seems to finally meet the man with the Apple Watch, or at least so they say. We get additional leaks of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus, and Asus seems serious about expanding its Zenfone 2. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm willing to bet $10 that my lighting is off one more time. This is Pocket Now Daily. We've got the usual confusing news from a company like HTC, that same company that decided not to launch so many phones last year or a couple of years ago is doing the complete opposite now. We've got the HTC One ME being announced today. It looks a lot like the One M9 Plus, only it's polycarbonate. It brings a 5.2 inch Quad HD display in addition to 3 gigs of RAM and MediaTek's new Helio X10 processor. Uh, but the problem is it's for the Asian market, you know, the way this rolls. And ASUS seems to not be done with launching more ASUS Zenfone 2 variants. Today we get two more, a 5 and 720p model that includes sort of a Snapdragon 410 processor, not confirmed, and another 6 inch 1080p display model, uh, which uh, offers sort of a Snapdragon 615. These are non-confirmations yet, but uh, you get more options with this phone. And the first ones were already extremely affordable, which is great. And when it comes to leaks, let's talk about the Moto X 2015. We're not sure exactly when we're getting this phone, but we get the first leaks of what to expect with its design. It looks different, completely different to the previous dimple type design, even though the dimple is still there. It reminds us of an old HTC phone from back in the day, but uh, we're apparently getting a three gig RAM uh, option here with uh, 32 gigs of storage in addition to a Quad HD display in the front, hopefully AMOLED still. Uh, again, we're not really sure when to expect this product, but uh, yes, you can bet we're looking out for it as long as they fix the camera. Other leaks from a very trusted source also mention the Galaxy S6 Plus. We've been covering the specifications, but we haven't seen the design, and uh, we see it today. And uh, if that looks just like a Galaxy S6 Edge, only bloated, uh, we don't blame you because that's pretty much the case. It could be that they're playing with the operating system and just making icons smaller. It could be so many things with this leak, but uh, yeah, it seems that this product could be a reality and it could look pretty much like everything else that's already out there for the Galaxy S6, only bigger, which is the same thing the iPhone 6 Plus did, so it makes sense. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, it seems that Apple is finally able to meet the man with the Apple Watch. First of all, by releasing a statement confirming that uh, those orders that were made in May will be completed in two weeks. And uh, you can also get select Apple Watches in retail stores within the next two weeks, in addition to other partners across Europe, because Apple also confirms that it is expanding its reach of the Apple Watch outside the United States as of June 26. And all these announcements are extremely interesting because we're just the corner away from WWDC. We don't understand why they didn't just announce it at the event. Uh, this is the first time Apple does things this way, but uh, hey, it leads me to the question of the day. After all the hype, do you still feel needed or compelled to go have a look at an Apple Watch and buy one? Uh, because in my case, I've been using it for two weeks, pretty much three weeks already, and uh, I like it, I just don't love it, mainly because of its design, but leave us a comment down below, what is your case? Friends, you know the drill, if you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on TalkingNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.